Hello everyone, welcome to JS and RS Solution YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about air quality dispersion modeling. There are some software available for this task, but most of them require a purchase. One such software is USCPS Airmode, which is not free. Don't worry, later we will be providing a detailed tutorial series one how to use Airmode. However, Today we are focusing on a freely downloadable and user-friendly software called Wind Tracks. It's a promising tool for estimating emission rates. In this tutorial series, we will show you a number of video on how you can perform air quality modeling for several projects. Um, today is the first one and I'm gonna show you how to download Wind Tracks software and provide an introduction on uh, to its interface uh, we believe that this tutorial series will be incredibly helpful for those of you who are working on or have a keen interest in air quality analysis and modeling so without uh, further ado let's get started first i will show you how you can download the software just go to google search box and then write windrax software download and after that you will get this window and then just click in this link thunder is scientific and from here you will find uh, Wintrax uh, detail and also subject link so Wintrax is a free uh, subject tool um, it uh, simulates the transport of trace gases in the atmospheric surface layer. Um, it allows you to calculate both unknown emissions rates from sources emitting these gases and their unknown concentrations anywhere in the vicinity of the sources. Uh, Wintrax uh, uses numerical models called uh, Lagrangian uh, stochastic maybe I could not pronounce it uh, correctly uh, this model Lagrangian uh, stochastic models to simulate the transport of trace gases from uh, sources that emit them uh, in wind tracks uh, three models are presently available uh, one is the atmospheric surface layer model uh, that calculate profiles of wind speed, temperature, and turbulence. The backward LS model uh, that calculates emission rate from area sources and creates data files called touch, touch down catalogs to speed up its performance. And the last model is uh, the forward LS model, uh, which calculates emission rates from point sources. And uh, using wind tracks, uh, you will um, you will find uh, details here. and uh, it is a uh, free Wintrax is available at no cost you can download uh, installation file from these websites so click here and there are two version Wintrax 2.0 uh, and Wintrax 1.0 patch so I will download the latest version and also Wintrax introductory manual you will find here to manual so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm downloading Wintrax 2.0 so it has been already downloaded so go to the downloaded folder and then just uh, install this software right click and run as administrator this uh, this will install Wintrax 2.0 and do you wish to continue so yes and uh, license agreement I accept the agreement check this option then click next and next next 
you can create a desktop shortcut or uh, it's, it's up to you uh, then uh, click install so run on tracks then click finish finish here is the uh, software interface so first uh, grid scale the first step in creating a simulation is to set up uh, the map grid scale this will determine the placement of everything else on the map so how you can do this go to edit and uh, edit and click grid here so it's the grid scale map grid you can change the scale um, and unit as well and then click ok this yeah and how you can move uh, map origin the grid origin can be moved by clicking the grid tool and dragging the symbols to another uh, location so for that go to edit and click here and you can move uh, the map origin from here yeah in this process and not indicator in some cases you might wish to change the uh, change the compass uh, orientation to do this double click on it with it and the mouse so double click and uh, you can change the map orientation angle and then click ok yeah you can see here uh, the map angle has been changed and surface roughness uh, select the surface roughness length by double clicking on the map background so uh, on the surface double click and here you can see surface data uh, roughness uh, you can change the description and yeah and here also you can change the temperature in uh, several format temperature celsius kelvin uh, yeah elevation also surface elevation and appearances you can change the background color of this software interface yes and then click ok and anemometer uh, set the wind speed and direction by double clicking on the anemometer so for that uh, go to sources um, i mean sorry sensors and then click here the first uh, icon anemometer and double click here you can change the uh, name uh, location height uh, yep location uh, yep uh, also uh, uh, if you go to the platform uh, you will see here you can change the properties from here height uh, let long yep sensor you can uh, add sensors here you will find here several options sensor type uh, measurement wind speed in unit direction in degrees uh, offset yeah, you, you will find here detail atmospheric stability set the atmospheric stability by double clicking on the stability sensors this appears automatically when an anemometer is present on the map so how we can do this right click here surface layer model double click and you will see here uh, parameters star, star specified stability you will find here several stability classes so in this model uh, it is uh, using uh, morning yeah this and also in direction data you will find here this option statistics so parameters after uh, yeah parameter then click ok and area sources area sources are added to the map by using the drawing tools uh, each color represent a different emission rate so how you can do this uh, go to sensors not sensors uh, go to uh, yeah shape here you will find uh, several uh, shape for sources Yeah, but just double click here area source data and then you can input uh, here uh, data properties color you can change the color and you can also uh, rename the name rename and type 
uh, grid angle in a belt area uh, several options and spaces and here uh, the gases select the gases that you uh, need that you will perform for your study you need to select uh, the gases uh, as per your requirement project requirement and uh, measurement output mode and output emission rate you need you can set this data set from here unit and after setting all uh, then uh, click ok I will show you details in the next tutorial I mean uh, when I will uh, perform a complete project this is just a interface overview anyway uh, for another sources you can uh, check and you can uh, set the measurement and gases and you have to change the uh, color for uh, different sources and a line sensors is added to the map uh, by selecting the tool pressing the mouse down dragging it to the end location and uh, releasing for that go to sensors and uh, yeah yeah and how you can uh, set properties the properties of the sensors can be specified by double clicking on it with the mouse so double click here so line source sensor data uh, you can see here properties st start height and height yeah we can uh, yeah you can change the name also uh, gases you need to select the gases uh, measurement uh, measurement uh, measured concentrations you will find here options yeah um, also uh, also you will uh, find several other uh, tools uh, like data uh, this is uh, the um, this is the input data file that uh, connects existing data files to Wintrax projects allowing multiple simulations you can input data file uh, from this option connections and the uh, the next one is uh, output data files data logger connects map object properties to output files for storage and later use and here you can see uh, properties connections <coughs> and uh these on uh, a multimeter that displays the present value of any map object property and here you can see uh, several options connect to and uh, camera uh, stores screen captures to a series of output image files for use in assessing the validity of a given run yeah see uh, you can see here uh, several uh, data storage type jp gb mp i mean uh, file format and so many things and signal uh, generator uh, creates data to be connected to any map object using an R arbitrary functions ev evaluated over an R arbitrary do domain so you will find uh, several uh, options here chart uh, recorder similar to an output data file but also creates char uh, charts of the stored uh, results a uh, real-time com server allows win tracks to be controlled by external programs uh, through the standard com object interface so you will uh, find details uh, in, in some uh, several videos which i will uh, upload later and this is a uh, point source you can 
you can add point source data from here you will see here properties you can change the point source name uh, location height and uh, unit and several other options here and you can select gases from here and also uh, measurement source output unit and uh, this is location level you can change you can uh, create location level from uh, this option using this option and uh, this is maybe text bar you can add text text box and uh, import image uh, from this option uh, you can import images and you can uh, you can add uh, polygon using these options or also you will find here uh, several other toolbox several other options and these options uh, you can see the project status yeah i mean uh, your uh, uh, your file is ready or not uh, for simulating uh, the model this is the option uh, for uh, simulation you can run uh, simulation uh, using this tool and also you can find here tools uh, environment setting environment options here you can see several other uh, options for environment uh, setting of this uh, uh, software and also you will find uh, help option and uh, you will find several uh, other options thank you for watching and i hope you found this tutorial easy to follow we are going to cover everything about air quality modeling with Wintrax from a to z uh, in the next video we will walk you through a complete project using this software until then stay safe and have a great day